Well, hey there, YouTube. Matt M. Roy back again. Well, I thought we'd do an unboxing of this 12-volt heated mug that I uh, purchased at the garage shell over the weekend. I'm actually going to unbox this. We'll go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to brew a cup of coffee with the Keurig over there. And uh, we'll see if this actually works. So, just show you guys again. It's a 12-volt heated mug for, you know, coffee, tea, hot chocolate, stuff like that. And if my camera will focus, because I am using my cell phone. There we go. Thermal insulated mug with analog temperature gauge, which is this thing right here. Uh, let's see. Ready light, on-off toggle switch, and non-skid rubber. It's got... I think this is so cool. It's got an old-school... Uh, like metal toggle switch, very very uh, steampunk, if you will. Uh, base plugs into 12 volt auto power socket. Now I was a little concerned because I actually had one of these before with my other car, and it I plugged it in. I used it for about 10 minutes, and it totally blew out all of my uh, power port. So we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and open this. Uh, I'll just show you guys the back real quick. You guys can uh, read that. Pause the video read that if you want to. Thermal insulated. You know, it's one of these cheapo things, but I figure for 50 cents, heck, it's worth a try. These things are never easy to open. Alright. Oh, I love that. Caution hot. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Here's the lid. Looks like in decent shape. A little uh, slide here for covering it up so when you're driving over our big potholes we got from last winter, this coffee doesn't spill out. In here we have a little uh, diagram. Just tells you what everything is and what it does. I can pull this out. Not too worried about the container. And here we go. This is the mug itself. It's a Fire Engine Red. And let's see, it's a Tech Tools brand. There's the uh, LED light, probably to tell you that it's on. Switch. I like the fact that it has a, uh, eh, it's a semi, it's actually a plastic handle. Would have been nicer if it was rubber. Because, you know, it, it is a little slippery. Like, I want, that wants to fall out of my hand if I don't have that, a tight grip on that. Inside we have, oh, that's cool. It came with an extra fuse. Now that's handy. We'll have to figure out where that goes. Probably in this, which is the actual power adapter itself. Uh, 12 volt. You can see you got the LED to tell you if there's power. I'll have to look. Usually the fuses go on the side here, but this seems a cheaper one. You might unscrew this and the fuse is probably right under there. Good that it has that. So those are the full contents of this box, and we'll go ahead and, I'm going to clean this all up because I don't know how long it's been since it was made, and probably has some nasty dust in there, and we'll go ahead and brew a cup all of right. coffee. I have it all cleaned out. Um, the one thing I couldn't figure out, though, is exactly how big this is. Um, I'm guessing it's probably an 8 or a 10 ounce, so I'm going to go ahead and put a K-cup in here. We'll go with the Colombian one since I've had the... McCafe earlier this morning. Stick this under the Keurig here. And I'm going to go ahead and set this for the, I believe the 10 ounce, which is this one right here in the middle. And we'll go ahead and give it a try. And if I'm wrong, we'll see a gigantic spill. And as we all know, that's good for ratings. Very curious if that temperature gauge goes up. This is piping hot coffee. Mm. Nothing yet. It might have to be plugged in the power. Looks like I was just about right. I might have been able to go up one more, but that's fine for this test. 
I tell you, one thing I'm not liking already, this is not very steady at all. So I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, cream and sugar in here, and we'll go ahead and bring all it out right. to the car. We are now in the car. One thing I see I like already is it fits nicely in my little cup holders here. i got to take... Uh, Actually, I'm going to do this first. I'm going to plug this end, which is right here, if it'll focus, into the cup. And then we'll go ahead and plug this down in here. I don't know if the camera will actually get that, so I'll just stay up here. And it should start automatically. This is a powered plug even when the car is off, so... Oh, just got to flip the switch. And see if that light's actually on. Yep. As you guys can see, the uh, if this will focus, the light is on. So what I'm going to do, you can see that it is reading now, that the gauge is reading now that we plugged it into the uh, cigarette lighter. It's reading that the coffee's sitting at about 145, which is correct, or maybe... 148. Uh, the Keurig is set to brew at 148 degrees, so I'm actually surprised that that's reading properly. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it sit here for a few minutes. Actually, probably wait about 20 or 30 minutes, and uh, we'll see if it keeps staying hot. So check back with you guys. In it is about actually way minutes. up there. It is like 160 degrees plus. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the lid off here real quick. And we'll see if that's actually true. And if, if that's true, it should be steaming. And this is a half an hour later. Well, I don't see it steaming. It is still very hot, though. I mean, that's, that's hot to the touch, where if I kept my finger in there for any length of time, I would have a nice burn. So I would say this is a success. This really works well. Now, the one other test is I ran this a half an hour without running my car. So let's see if my battery's dead. This will be the ultimate test. Sounds strong. So I will say this is a big success. Now, because I got this at a garage sale, I'm not sure where you can pick one of these up. Um, if I find it online, I'll put a link to it in the video. But this was a review of the Tech Tools 12 volt heated mug. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.